What's going on, guys? Fame and Fame here from LV1Gaming.com, and I am super excited because I have Daniel here with me. Robots at Midnight is a title that I have been wanting to get my hands on and to talk about more. We're at Pax 2024, and I finally have the opportunity. But, Daniel, before we get started, first, I'll tell the people at LV1Gaming.com, who are you and who are you to Robots at Midnight? Uh, I'm Daniel Posner, CEO and co-founder of Finish Line Games. Big time. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we're very excited to be showcasing Robots at Midnight at PAX East uh, and the PAX Rising Showcase. Okay, so what is Robots at Midnight? Robots at Midnight is an action RPG with intense combat, like you have to kind of figure out the timing, different strategies for beating robots. Uh, we feel like it's like a really visual cosmic fantasy world, uh, lots of lore and secrets to uncover and quests to unfold, and you kind of collect your uh, your weapons and come up with a good strategy to beat the corrupt robots in the world. Okay, so I want you to tell me more about the main protagonist because I am a big time on seeing a character and instantly falling in love with characters, thinking this is going to be someone that's really cool to play with. Can you tell us more about the main protagonist of this title? Oh, great question. Yeah, so you play the role of Zoe and she wakes up from cryo sleep and she doesn't know what's going on. It was 20 years. She befriends a friendly robot on the planet of Yaw, which was a planet that was a luxury planet like Earth 2 uh -huh. that was seeded by robots to kind of build it out and then they got corrupted and uh, she now has to kind of fight through a horde of, of these evil robots to kind of figure out what's going on and she's on a quest you know to figure out and find her family yeah. okay so it, what's what style a game of robots at midnight is it is it more towards action adventure you look at trying more to tell a story it's more focused on gameplay what type of game is this? i think at its core it's an action game with um and then underneath it has like team deep, deep, deep gameplay mm -hmm. and lore and uh it has like an homage to like more difficult combat so you can't but it, it's very accessible but for those that want a bigger challenge you can choose a more challenging path when you say difficult, you mean like souls like this? Souls oh my. Souls oh my. Okay, so they can be a challenge. That now, is there going to be difficulty settings, or is it going to be a, a, a one a, setting that you have to kind of figure out your bad? Yeah, game? we're gonna fig we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna figure that out. Right now, there isn't a difficulty setting, but we're finding out some interesting ways to introduce um, uh, some sort of leveling of difficulty for consumers. Yeah. Okay. Maybe more natural approach. Yeah. So my question, next question is, where can people? look forward to playing robots at midnight it's not they announced we haven't announced the date yet but mm -hmm. look forward to it in 2024 for xbox and pc steam on all the different storefronts on are we able to wish list it you can wish list it now yeah let me yeah. see there <laughs> we go so thank you yeah. before we go and i, I stole this question from my friend baron who's he's he's he's, he's, our, he's our right person right he's, he's kind of cool who is this game for i think it's i think it's going to attract those that like action combat games mm -hmm. but want but want to spend some time with the game and uncover its secrets okay yeah now i i love talking about it i'm ready to get my hands on playing it so this is david fame entertainment from doublegaming.com this is daniel big boss man ceo we do not thank you at pax east 2023 you guys have a great one